You guys, this is the uh, 2022 Ford Maverick pre-collision assist system. How the pre-collision system works, what is it, what's its limitations, what are the precautions. You guys, enjoy the video. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and have a fantastic day. The 2022 Ford Maverick pre-collision assist. What is pre-collision assist? Pre-collision assist detects and warns of approaching hazards in the roadway. If your vehicle is rapidly approaching another stationary vehicle, a vehicle traveling in the same direction as yours, or a pedestrian within your driving path, the system provides multiple levels of assistance to help avoid collision. Now, how does pre-collision assist work? Now, the system warns the driver of potential hazards of providing three levels of assistance. Take a look at this diagram. Now, if your vehicle is rapidly approaching a potential hazard, the system provides the following levels of functionality. One, alert. Two, brake support. Three, automatic emergency braking. Alert. When active, a flashing visual warning appears and an audible warning tone sounds. Brake support. The system is designed to help reduce the impact speed by preparing the brakes for rapid braking. The system does not automatically apply the brakes. If you press the brake pedal, the system could apply additional braking up to a maximum braking force. Even if you lightly press the brake pedal, it still does it. Automatic emergency braking. Now this may activate if the system determines that a collision is imminent. If you perceive pre-collision assist alert as being too frequent or disturbing, you can reduce the alert sensitivity, although we recommend using a highest sensitivity setting where possible. Setting a lower sensitivity leads to fewer and later system warnings. Each system has various levels of detection capabilities. See pre-collision assist limitations. Pre-collision assist precautions. You are responsible for controlling your vehicle at all times. The system is designed to be an aid and does not relieve you of responsibilities to drive with due care and attention. Fair to follow the instructions can result in loss of control of your vehicle, personal injury, or death. The system does not detect vehicles that are driving in a different direction. Cyclists are animals. Apply the brakes when necessary. Fair to follow this Instruction could result in a loss of control of your vehicle, personal injury, or death. The system does not operate during hard acceleration or steering. Free to take care may lead to a crash or personal injury. The system may fail or, or operate with reduced functionality during cold and severe weather conditions. Snow, ice, rain, spray, and fog can adversely affect the system. Keep the front camera and radar free of snow and ice. Free to take care may result in loss of control of your vehicle, serious person injury, or death. Take additional care if your vehicle is heavily loaded or you are towing a trailer. These conditions could result in reduced performance of the system. Free to follow this instructions could result in a loss of control of your vehicle, personal injury, or death. The system cannot help prevent all crashes. Do not rely on the system to replace your driver judgment and the need to maintain a safe distance and speed. In situations where the vehicle cameras has limited detection capability, this may reduce the system performance. Now, these situations include, but are not limited to direct or low sunlight vehicles at night without tail lights, unconventional vehicle types, pedestrians with complex backgrounds, running pedestrians, partly obscure pedestrians, pedestrians that the system cannot distinguish from a group. Fear to take care may result in loss of control of your vehicle, serious personal injury, or death. Pre-collision assist limitations. Pre-collision assist depends on detection ability of its camera and sensors. Any obstruction or damage of these areas can limit detection or prevent the system from functioning. The system is active at speeds above three miles per hour. Brake support and automatic emergency braking 
are active at speeds of up to 80 miles per hour. If your vehicle has a radar sensor included with the adaptive cruise control, then brake support and automatic emergency braking are active up to the maximum speed of the vehicle. Pedestrian detection limitations. Pedestrian detection is active at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. Pedestrian detection operates optimally when detected hazards are nearly identifiable or clearly identifiable. System performance may reduce in situations where pedestrians are running, probably obscured, have a complex background, or cannot be distinguished from a group. What is complex background? <laughs> Switching pre-collision assists on and off. You cannot switch the system off. Now adjust in the pre Collision Assist setting. You can adjust the uh, following settings by using the touchscreen controls on the Pre-Collision Assist menu. Change alert and distance alert sensitivity to one of three possible settings. Switch distance indication and alert on or off. If required, switch automatic emergency braking on and off. If required, switch evasive steering assist on or off. Automatic Emergency braking and evasive steering automatically turns on every time you switch the ignition on. Pre-collision assist. Now, if you switch automatic emergency braking off, evasive steering and switches also goes off. Locating the pre-collision assist sensors. As you see, it's located right on the windshield and also in the grill. This is the uh, camera in the windshield, and two is the radar sensor, if equipped it in the grill. If a message regarding a block sensor or camera appears on the information display, something that is obstructing the radar signal or camera images. The radar sensor is behind the fascia cover in the center of the lower grill. With the block sensor or camera, the system may not function or perform and may reduce Pre-collision assist information messages. That's where you go to find more information about this. And we'll talk about that in a second. Proper system operation requires a clear view of the road by the cameras. Repairing any windshield damage in the area of the camera field of view. If something has the front end of your vehicle or damage occurs and your vehicle has a radar sensor, the radar sensing zone could could change. This could cause missed or false vehicle detection. Have your vehicle service to have the radar checked for proper coverage and operation. If your vehicle detects excessive heat at the camera or potential misalignment condition, a message could appear in a display information system indicating temporary sensor unavailability. When operational conditions are, co are con correct, the message deactivates. For example, when the ambient temperature around the sensor decreases, or the sensor recalibrates successfully. Distance indication. What is distance indication? This is an indication display the gap between your vehicle and the vehicles ahead of you. The graphic does not display if you switch the cruise control or adaptive cruise control off. Pre-collision assist. Vehicle speeds up to 62 miles per hour. Sis system sensitivity, normal. Distance indicator. So it's going to be gray if it's greater than 82 feet. Or greater than 0 0.9 seconds. Yellow if 56 to 82 feet distance or the time gap is 0.6 to 0.9 seconds. Red, less than 56 feet, less than 0.6 second. That's the pre-collision assist. Switching distance indication on and off. Now to switch the system on and off, use the instrument cluster display. 
select setting, select driver assistance, select free collision assist, switch distance indication on and off. Distance look indication indicator. Now the indicator displays the time gap between your vehicle and the vehicle traveling in the same directions. Now this includes, now this concludes the part one of the pre-collision assist. Stay tuned for part two, A Automotive Reviews. Thanks for coming by and, and watch part two as well. Thank you guys for your support and your love and your dedication. Remember like and subscribe and have a fantastic day. This is A Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching, sharing and subscribing. And have an awesome and fantastic day. Much love. And again, thanks for coming by. Again? I'm going to wait for me. Sing it again for me. I'm going to wait to get my days. I'm pray to get my days. Oh, see from sorrow. I'll be there tomorrow. I'm going to pray until my days are done. I'm going to pray until my days are done. Oh, see from sorrow. I'll be there tomorrow. I'm going to pray until my days. I done. I'm going to sing until my days are done. I'll see from sorrow. I'll be there tomorrow. I'm going to pray until my days are done. I'm going to pray until my days are done. Oh, I see some Lord, I'll be there tomorrow. I'm going to pray until my days are done. I'm going to wait until my days are done. Go see from sorrow. I'll be there tomorrow. Uh, done. Hello, how y'all doing? <laughs> how y'all doing? Good. Praise the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm.